Then Sister Shahrazad, the elder sister, Shahrazad Ali, said that what they've been doing in modern times is placing a weight upon black men by telling them that everything is based on economics, right? When traditionally, they have been held back economically. So you're telling a black man that you are being measured by something that the system keeps you out of. You can get as pro-black as you want. You can, be, you, know, you can get all conservative and start talking about economics. You can get on your Dr. Claude Anderson and start talking about powernomics. You can get on your Dr. Boyce Watkins start about, and start talking about black wealth, him and Jay Morrison and all these people. But the truth of the matter is, economics is one of the hardest areas in this society for a black man to penetrate, for anybody to penetrate, really, but particularly for a black man to penetrate. If we allow anybody to measure us by that, by that barometer, we gonna fail. You know, one of the problems I have with my mission, right, to help and elevate black men is that we live in a zero sums mentality society. Whereas if I'm trying to help black men and if I'm honest with black men, it's only going to give, it's only going to add fuel to anybody who wants to claim that I have a problem with black women because that is how it's going to end up sounding. And this is why I've been trying to lead black men to a certain conclusion on their own by just giving them some philosophical groundwork, right? Here's the problem with Dr. Umar Johnson's notion about uh, whether or not a rich white woman would marry a broke nigga. First of all, it happens. How I know it happens? Because we know about that brother who had that mugshot floating around, and when he got out of jail, some billionaire white chick married him, and right now this dude is sitting fat. They got a kid together. We know that happened. We know that that the the Jenner lady, the the Kardashian's mom. We know she's dating um just a regular old Joe Black dude. We know it happens. We know Jay Electronica, the little nine hip hop artist from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? We know he went over to Britain and he was dating a Rothschild granddaughter, a granddaughter of the Rothschilds. That's right. So we already know that a rich white woman will marry a broke black dude. They'll marry. The problem with with these kinds of couplings is meeting. You can only date and marry who you are around, who you get around. And the truth of the matter is rich white women typically don't run in the same type of environments that working class black men run in. That's, that's, the, that's the real problem. It's not that they won't date or marry a black man. It's that we're not around them. But they tell you this. People like Dr. Umar Johnson say things like that really to belittle you as a black man. Here's the problem. A rich black man have a problem getting a broke black woman. Whoa! Here's the problem. A black woman that have a job act like she's too good for a black man. And a black man could be making more money than her. What? That's the problem. You got this negative perception of black men that their only value is economic. That's your problem. That their only worth is based on economics. And if he don't have money, he ain't worth nothing. That's your problem. So when a black man goes out and he meet a woman that can cherish him and appreciate him, regardless of what he got in his pocket, y'all get mad about that because nine times out of 10, that woman is not gonna be black. Then y'all got a problem with that. And then when these brothers that make some money start moving amongst different women, end up with a non-black woman. Oh, he got a few dollars and got him a white girl. No, he didn't. He got him a few dollars and started getting away from certain things because his options are there now, because he can get away from it. He don't have to subject himself to certain things. So now he's moving in different circles. And in these circles, it's not a whole lot of black women there. And the black women that are there, they're checking for white boys. What? So he's moving in these circles now. And he's meeting women that, have, that, that seem to genuinely like him for him. Oh, no, they don't. They just gold diggers. But how do you know? And the black women are not. If you move a certain way, the kind of woman you end up with is going to be the kind of woman you end up with. I never say nothing about race. But y'all all know 
that that kind of woman nine times out of ten is not going to be black and instead of y'all saying that that shows that the black woman has a problem y'all twist it and turn it and make it a problem on a black man that's only seeking peace forget about these extreme examples about a rich black because i mean who who cares okay a rich white woman won't marry a broke black dude but at the same time would a rich black woman marry a broke black dude no no we know that black women that are economically stable any kind of way are some of the hardest women to deal with if you're a black man that's your ebony k williams and all those kinds of women you know what i'm saying didn't, didn't she say she wouldn't date no bus driver didn't the Ebony K. Williams say that? Say, I, I would never bring home no damn bus driver. So she's told you already that she's a classist. That if 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 you not on her level economically or financially, she ain't messing with you. And she and if she is around those black men that have money, they not gonna deal with Ebony K. Williams. Cause she's confrontational. She's aggressive. She's hard to deal with. She has a bad disposition, a bad demeanor. But you got people like Dr. Umo Johnson want you to focus on whether or not a rich white woman would date a broke man when you can't get a uh, you can't get the black woman that work in the grocery store. You can't it, it, you can't even deal with a hood rat. They think they too good for you. Because they have been systematically uh molded to see themselves as being higher than the black man by default so it doesn't matter what they have or don't have they see themselves as being better than you black man now i'm gonna leave you with that and i want you to think about that like the video share the video subscribe to the channel i'm out of here so long